Good to see you. Good to see you, Roshi. How are you doing? Ah, sure. Will we go into our physio gym? Absolutely, yeah. I'll let you over lead the way. Over this way. Over this way and around the Grand, corner there, okay. yeah. Okay. Everything, I suppose, with motor neuron disease, the person knows how they're actually trying to move. They're sending all those messages down, but the actual messages aren't getting to the muscles, okay? So we can see that the muscles themselves get that bit weaker and you find that um, as they try and go to, say, lift their hand or they try and go to stand, they just don't have the power in those muscles to be able to do the normal day-to-day -day things like stand up, like um, walk in that normal pattern. The only way I can describe it, in the way that I have come to understand it, is that something has gone wrong with the wiring system somewhere in the brain, and it affects the central nervous system, which controls all our muscles, which sends signals to your arm, to your index finger. If you're a pianist, that, that sends all those messages whereby you, 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 you move all those fingers at such a rate that you're able to play wonderful pieces in the National Concert Hall or wherever. To an athlete to run, to skip, to jump, to ourselves, to put out our hands, to save ourselves at a moment's notice, to get out of a chair, to walk, to run, to sprint, to sit. All the things we do without thinking. Not many people come in in their suit and tie to, to do their workout, well, but uh, is, yeah. that's the class that you bring to the <laughs> bring to our physio gym well, music. The Tour yep. de France like is still an option. Isn't yes, it? exactly. <laughs> okay. Do you